In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about, well, it's already in the title, but I'm gonna be talking about why, why I left marijuana alone. I think that's why I'm gonna make the title. But first, I'm gonna start from like why I started. I started smoking weed for the purpose of fun or I don't know, it was like it was like I was smoking weed to, to go like say I'm going to like a basketball game or a football game. I smoke I might not even like a full blunt, like I'll smoke like a piece of blunt, just hit it. And then I started smoking a little more, it became like a uh, a creativity like a way to expand my mind like it gave me new ways of thinking new ways of looking at stuff well that's what i was telling myself i'm gonna say that well the cre creativity thing maybe but yeah it was like i was saying it was giving me new ways of thinking and stuff and it did help me become it did help me partially on my spiritual journey i will say that but I didn't need it for my spiritual journey. And I started smoking more. And then it went from expanding my mind and creativity. And it turned into compulsion. And I was kind of just smoking, like, just because I felt like it. I just smoked. Then when I was done smoking, I'd go do something. And then... Y'all understand what compulsion means. I don't got to explain that. And I thought, like, me smoking made it me, like, uh, logical or analytical or I just help my smartness, for lack of a better word. But now I think back on it, me growing up, I was always the smart kid. I was always a kid. I was in the books and chess. Like, I could always walk into a room and read it. Like, tell what kid thought he was above everybody and what kid was trying to fit in. And, well, yeah, until I became the kid who was trying to fit in. And then I realized I started displacing my emotions into blunts. Like, I only was speaking my true mind until I smoked. Like, whatever I felt. It was easier to say how I felt after I smoked instead of saying how I felt sober. So that's when I started getting healthier and and realizing that your body is more of a temple. Not even more of a temple. Your body is a temple. I don't know why I said that. Your body is a temple in that melanated people I'm gonna say melanated, not a race, but just melanated people are meant to connect with nature and and get energy from nature, like the sun and and the ground. Like even now, like walking around in the grass, bare feet, all that. Like we meant to do stuff like this. Like this, this for us, this nature stuff for us. So I realized that, and I started thinking about weed and where it was coming from I'm like okay so I know roughly how much weed I used to smoke now I'm not gonna put that information on YouTube but I know how much weed I smoke from a, a weekly period and I'm thinking oh, how much I smoke compared to everybody it was like where all this weed coming from like some of the weed that we smoke has to be GMO, like, just not even real. Now, I'm not going to say not real weed, but it's weed among other things with chemicals and genetically modified organisms. Like, it's not an organic type of weed anymore. Like, me now, if I was to smoke weed now, I would probably would want to smoke some some mid before I would just get some something else. Because it's like, I just don't want all the chemicals and stuff, but... I'm pretty much, yeah. That's besides the point. But, yeah, so I just started thinking, like, where, where it's all coming from? Where it's all coming from? Like, they, they got to be mass-produced. Like, everything else that, that we eat and drink and 
they gotta be mass produced. And then I started thinking a little more like part of the reason we smoke can't just be cause yeah, I want weed, like I want weed in my system. Part of the reason we smoke gotta be tobacco, right? The guards that you smoke, the leaves, well, I'm not gonna say you, me. The leaves, the the guards, the this, the that, all that, like all that has to you're not just only smoking weed when you roll up a blunt. It's other things. It's other things that you smoking and putting in your lungs. That was another thing when I started not eating meat and going vegan and all that. Like mucus, mucus is something that's rarely ever in my body, but it always mucus always found a way to come back whenever I were smoke. Like I just could feel the mucus that like my nose get stopped up, my skin get a little bit drier, just hair felt a little bit drier. I don't know. I just start paying attention to how I feel. And I just kind of was like, mm. and like I was saying earlier about the, the melanated, we meant to connect with nature. And then I was thinking about the chemicals. Anything with chemicals in it is, is, is anti nature. Anything anti nature is anti melanin. So why would I know it in my mind that it's chemicals? Now, I don't want chemicals in my food. I don't drink fructose corn syrup. I don't want chemicals nowhere else, but I'll smoke weed that has chemicals in it. That made it stop making sense in my head. So it's like, what am I smoking for? What's the purpose of this smoking? It was just a, 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 a way to escape emotions. But that's... Mm, I'm gonna cut this part out. But yeah, so oh yeah, stop smoking. And I start paying attention to myself as I just like wasn't smoking so much. So I could the same stuff I was able to do as a kid. I was able to do it again. Like I could read a room. You know, I didn't need no no weed. I could feel the energy in the room. I could meditate. I didn't need none of that stuff. I could meditate. The amount of lucid dreams I have now has gone through the roof. I could recall my dreams back. I can know that I'm not, I can know that I'm dreaming and stay in a dream. And it's more like a, if you was a TV show, you put yourself in a TV show and know you in a TV show. But this TV show, you control it. Oh, it's a meaning to it. It was just like, just all the stuff that came back from, from being a kid just started to come back to me. I just started to feel a connection to everything around me rather than to the weed because I'm not saying weed is a terrible thing I'm just saying the weed that they give us might not be the weed that we should be smoking now personally if I was to get weed now which I don't plan on because it's so much going on with all this legal stuff and people getting pulled over and all of that but if I was to I would try to look for something homegrown because I know nobody's just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna stop smoking weed in a day or two. Like, it's, 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 it's possible, but it's not feasible. So if it was me or somebody who, who want to continue smoking weed, I would look for something homegrown or hydroponics, or if you know what that is, or you could just look it up. And then also, don't let it become a compulsion like smoke if you want to smoke if you want to continue smoking after watching this video which i believe a, a lot of people still want to i'm not trying to convince anybody to stop smoking i'm just personally me but don't make it in a compulsion let it be like a celebratory event like you write some goals down and then your goals for the next two to three days or your goals for the next however long you want to put in between when you smoke. And you accomplish those goals. And then at the end of that, then you, you know, if that's what you want to do, then you can smoke. And say, this is my time to relax. Because, you know, it's a balance between everything. You need to relax sometimes. And, and then you need to work sometimes. So, yeah, but me, yeah. That's basically the, the, the whole point of this video, just... Explaining why I stop and give me some pointers if you want to continue, like uh, a way to put it into your schedule and not basing your schedule on smoking weed. Because 
it's not a necessary thing. It's just something we tell ourselves to continue. It's not a necessary. It's just a choice. Everything we do is a choice. Just start realizing your choices. Let's. Thanks for watching. Like, comments. What the? Like, comment, subscribe. Repost, reshare. All the stuff that the YouTubers say. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.